What fall vlog have you seen that contained an apology to an apology video? Yeah, we're gonna dive into a very unique video by the one and only Colleen Ballinger. So I can tell you this is gonna be excellent, right? Let's dive in. Hello, everybody. Uh, sorry I've been gone for so long. Okay, I'm gonna stop her right there, not to pause so early, but sorry I've been gone so long. Those are the first words out of your mouth. As if people are sitting there going, oh no, I can't wait for her to come back. Like, no, what do you mean sorry? I've really missed this. I've missed talking to everyone. I've, I've missed this and I've missed talking. Dude, she has the like most deep level of narcissism, which she talks later in this about therapy. It's like, dude, if you went to therapy, and we'll get into that in a second, then what are you doing jumping out of this video and not talking about, like, what happened? You're just coming back to yourself. Um, obviously, the last video that I posted on here, um, it's really embarrassing. She was just posting whatever the hell she was posting before. She had one video, so I don't know what she meant by the last few, maybe last few posts? To say the least, I was being accused of some pretty awful things and I just was mad and um... I was being accused of some pretty awful things. Now that's the point that really aggravated me is that she's still, this is essentially the same apology just without the ukulele. That's literally the only difference here. How about the grooming allegations that actually happened that just a handful of people came out and explained their experience of it. Do you think these people are just making up these stories? She's literally just saying, oh, I was accused. Not I did, but I was accused, which just like puts the most disgusting t like taste in my mouth, makes my stomach feel weird. I feel weird continuing to hit play. That It's just like, ugh, everything about that is awful. I just was mad and... Um... I should have handled that situation with maturity and empathy, but instead I just- Okay, but the video's already out, so you can't take back what you've already done. So by that, that doesn't really do anything. Just saying, oh, I should have handled it. Like, like yeah, hey man, you can ask anybody across the street and they're gonna tell you the same thing. Like that doesn't do anything for anybody. And also, hey, what's up? How, it's what, 26 seconds in? You haven't called out any of the victims' names and, like, directly apologized. Maybe even, like, sent them a message. Nothing. Let's see. Maybe she did. Maybe. Let's see. Let my ego take over, and I'm really disappointed in myself. Um... Also, why does it look like she has... I don't like to go for this kind of thing, but why does it look like she still has the face filter on? Like, she has, like, no complexion in her face here. So, here's what I want to say today. Um... Over the last 15 years of my career, there have been moments where I was immature. Why is this about her? I'm so confused. This should not be about me and my own self-reflection. This should be about the victims and how you're going to make it up to them and actually own up to this as a grown adult. She still hasn't done this. This is like... I feel like I'm gonna like barf by the end of this because my stomach is feeling so disgusting. And inappropriate with some of my comedy. And there were times when I did not put enough thought into some of my fan interactions. And because of that behavior- It's the most generalized statement. There were times where I did not put enough thought into my fan interactions. That is so broad. Like someone else can say this and it would just, loosely apply to the world it would be like the slightest step better if she was like this one guy this one girl like that would not be good but it would be like the slightest bit even better but she didn't even go there didn't even like cross her mind to even and then i'm just so baffled at how this is called fall vlog but i doubt this apology is probably what three minutes yep people got hurt and I am so sorry. I never wanted to hurt anybody, but it's clear that I did, and I feel so terrible about that. Um, I also feel like there's probably people who are disappointed or feel abandoned by me because of my silence over the last few months. Um, and I'm so sorry about that. Okay, 
There's people that you hurt. Who are these people? How about you say their name, right? What about that? Genius idea, Colleen. Well, I needed to take time to um, you know, make sure I, I was listening and learning as much as possible. So far, and not to keep pausing, but so far you haven't shown clearly that you've learned anything from this at all, literally. So I don't, her just kind of being like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, this is such not an apology. This is, again, this just matches the scheme of toxic gossip train just without the ukulele. There's no difference. And um, I also needed to um, get the help that I needed to, to be okay. Um, I'm a mom first and foremost before anything else. And um, you're a groomer first and foremost before anything else that still needs to apologize to the victims. Is this that difficult, Colleen? I need to take care of my kids, so um, that's where I've been, and... What are you talking? This is like the most delusional, I'm almost having like my own mental illness watching this. I like, I'm almost in disbelief that this is real. And you go out and you look at this, it's got 44K downvotes, 25K updutes. When you look at a ratio like that, don't you think something's wrong? But when you go to the comments, you can see that people are, oh my God, so glad you're back and see you didn't stop vlogging. Oh, I love your haircut. Glad you're back. Glad the kids are doing great. Like, I miss you so much. Like, these poor kids watching her. Oh, I missed you. You're a groomer. I missed you. Or maybe they don't know. If I'm being a slice bit charitable to them. But like, just search her name somewhere else. Just stay, hey, just Google her name. Maybe you'll find out what happened. Um, but I'm back and I'm here now. And um, I am not a perfect person. And there are plenty of things in my past that I wish I could go back and redo. It's not the purpose in this. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. If you even said I'm going to take five months off of YouTube. No, no one cares. You'd have been better off not making this at all. Not posting, but just taking way more time off the internet. And then maybe individually apologizing to the victims and doing something about that, right? Do and um, fix and change. Um, I don't have control over any of that. And I don't have control over the things people say about me. I only have control over my actions moving forward. And... But what if you did have control over what they were saying? What would you do? Try to change their narrative? What the hell? So I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that I create a positive, kind, inclusive, safe space online with my content. And if you want to be a part of my journey online, I would love to have you. And if not... Oh, come join me. Come be a weenie. Come hang out with me and join my journey. She looks like the Trump and I did everything right, and they indicted me. I did everything right, and they indicted me. She looks like that right now in this freeze frame, but like, dude, come and join me. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Ah, uh, is that not like the one thing that like everyone took from this, that like being in a circle with Colleen is like the, hey, the worst thing you could possibly do. And she's like, come join me, ooh. I completely understand. Um, I do not expect anyone to welcome me back with open arms. I don't expect to change anyone's mind of this. Wait, you don't? Oh, that's weird. I, I was thinking that, you know, everyone would want to join you again because we're all just waiting to give you a big hug, Colleen. We love you. We missed you. We missed you, buddy. This video, I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm sorry, and um, I wanted to try to show people that it's possible for someone to grow and learn and be better after making mistakes many, many years ago. Swear to God, dude, if you just do one search on YouTube, you and do like a YouTuber apology video, every one of those videos has that line, I'm just gonna grow and learn. At this point, that line means nothing. Virtually means nothing to anybody. You can say that a thousand times over and show that a thousand times over on a screen or something, that has residually no effect on anyone. What has an effect is actually fessing up to what you did, going to the victims and making an improvement and change for the better. 
I cannot stress this enough. Like, that, that line is just a line of bullshit that means nothing. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to try to vlog again. And today I'm just going to fill my day and share some simple happy moments and, you know, start the process of starting over. Um, and I know it's going to be awkward and clunky at first as I try to get back into the swing of things, but I'm going to try. Someone mentioned that she's going back into the vlogging era specifically because like this is the time of year when like vloggers uh their their pay is higher on their videos because that's just like the adsense is juiced up at this time of year so that's why she's choosing to hop back in because boy she probably misses that sweet old cash and how about hey youtube hey youtube like do you not did you not notice this that's what i'm gonna do and thank you for listening, and, and thank you to anyone who supported me in any capacity over the last 15 years. I really, really appreciated it. Why are we talking about the last 15 years? No one cares. No one cares about the last 15 years, Colleen. What we care about is still the victims. But yeah, let's get started with the day and see what happens, I guess. I honestly do not know how to transition from this conversation. Hope you don't go out and groom another kid, Colleen. What are you going to do in your day? I don't even want to watch this vlog. I just want to see if she tries to swiftly exit this. Um, let's try. Where do I even begin? So much has happened since the last time I vlogged. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, the majority of the last few months has just been spent in therapy. In therapy. It seems like that therapy really helped you out, Colleen. It almost feels like a line of bullshit. Like, I almost am in disbelief that she went. Because if she did, wouldn't they, like, at least give her some advice? <laughs> on how to like properly handle the situation because hey this youtube video did just just nothing god damn it dude this is like so upsetting i think this video just ruined my whole day but hi hey, yeah hey. all right um if you guys like internet drama videos and you want to support me um that would be great i'd appreciate that there's gonna be more to come in this channel uh if you do enjoy this video let me know leave a comment We'll talk down in the comment section. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.